Paul Yu Soro, San. Photo liar orders arrest of four others The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Lagos Zonal Office, yesterday rearranged the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Paul Usoro, San, before Justice Rilwan Akawa of the Federal High Court sitting in Ikoyi, Lagos on a 10-count charge bordering on money laundering to the tune of N1410 billion, 410 million, 1 billion, 410 million naira. Usoro was charged along with NSE Khan and KAN, Akwa Ibom State Commissioner for Finance, MFO and Udoma, Accountant General of Akwa Ibom State, Yui Medema Nwoko, Attorney General of Akwa Ibom State and Margaret UKPE, who are all at large. The defendant was first arraigned before Justice MS. Hassan on December 18, 2018 before the case was transferred to Justice Akawa. During the December 18 proceedings, Usoro's counsel, Wale Alana Pekin, San, had told the court that the defendant had written to the chief judge, CJ, Federal High Court, seeking to transfer the matter to either UIO in Akwa Ibom or Abuja. He had also told the court that if the case would be heard in Lagos, the matter should be reassigned to another judge. Alana Pekin had further prayed the court to await the decision of the CJ before the defendant would take his plea. One of the counts reads, that you, Paul Usoro, San Emmanuel Udom, currently constitutionally immune against criminal prosecution, Yui Metama Thomas Nwoko, still at large, NSE Kun Linus NKAN, Commissioner of Finance, Aqua Ibom State, still at large, MFO and Jacobson Udoma, Accountant General, Aqua Ibom State, still at large, and Margaret Thompson UKP, still at large, sometime in 2015 in Nigeria, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, conspired amongst yourselves to commit an offense, to wit, Conversion of the sum of N1410 billion 410 million, 1 billion 410 million naira property of the government of Aqua Ibom State of Nigeria, which sum you reasonably ought to have known forms part of the proceeds of an unlawful activity to wit, criminal breach of trust and thereby committed an offense contrary to Section 18 of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2011 as amended and punishable under Section 15 3 of the same Act. The defendant pleaded not guilty to the charge when it was read to him. In view of his plea, the prosecuting counsel, Retimio Yadepo, asked the court for a trial date and urged the court to remand Usoro in prison. Counsel for the defendant, Chief Ifedeo Adedipe, San, however, informed the court that the defense had a pending bail application, my lord, it is the same bail application before Justice Hassan, he added. He, therefore, urged the court to grant his client bail. Oya Depo, in his response, objected to Adedip's prayers, arguing that, the defense has to file a fresh application for bail due to the fact that the case is no longer before Justice Hassan. In his short ruling, Justice Akawa held that he would adopt the bail terms and conditions given to the defendant by Justice Hassan. The judge said, I hereby grant the defendant bail in the sum of N250 million, with one surety in like sum, the surety shall be an owner of the landed property within the jurisdiction of the court and all titled. Documents of the property shall be deposited to the court registrar, or the surety shall be a civil servant who has attained the level of a director and shall present his or her credentials to the court for verification. The defendant shall deposit his international passport with the court registrar. Justice Akawa also ordered that the perfection of the bail must be done in two weeks, adding that the defendant shall be released to the counsel to the defendant, Chief Ifedeo Adedipe, San, pending the perfection of his bail conditions. Oya Depo, afterwards, applied for a warrant for the arrest of Nwoko, NKAN, Udoma and UKP, so as to compel their appearances in court in the interest of justice, the defense opposed the prayer, arguing that the individuals the prosecution sought to apply warrant of arrest against were not charged, but merely stated in the charge and that only Usoro was charged. Justice Akawa, however, issued the warrant of arrest against the individuals mentioned by the prosecution and adjourned for commencement of trial.